Hi my beautiful Aries and welcome to my channel. This is going to be your April the 23rd until the 30th. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So for April I will be doing um, a giveaway and I will be choosing two separate winners. Each of the winners will get a free 15 minute personal reading from me. So if you are interested, all you have to do is either subscribe to my channel or in the description box below. You can, um, you'll see a link to my Instagram and you can follow me on there. I've also listed all the information for my one-on-ones in the description box below. So if this resonates or you just would like a personal reading that focuses only on your energy, you can uh, find my information below. All right, so I'm going to start off with your romance angels. What can we get from my beautiful Aries from the 23rd to the 30th? Aries, Aries, Aries. So we start off with attraction. You attract romance, or sorry, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And then we have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. For some of you with this card, what I'm seeing is that, you know, sometimes we get attracted to people, but they're not aligned with our higher selves. Our spiritual path is all about finding our higher selves and finding our purpose, you know? I feel like, you know, sometimes you may meet somebody and you may think it's supposed to work, but then, you know, you realize like it won't. And I feel like that may be happening for some of you. Some of you may be on a higher or lower spiritual path than this person that you are trying to connect with. And when the paths aren't really similar, it's kind of hard unless it's more of, um, you know, a connection where you guys grow and learn from each other. If it's not that and it's more attraction, then um, things may not be able to pick up the way you want. I see here with love yourself first, we have you love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive and release your ex. The time has come to clear your negative energy. So there's definitely a person in your life that you need to release. For some of you, you know, you may be on a higher level than this person and it may just be time for you to find somebody that is on your level. I see that putting in the energy and effort to love yourself first is definitely, you know, necessary for you to do right now. So spend time doing, you know, if this is somebody that you newly, you newly broke up with or this is a breakup that you kind of have a feeling is coming. Remember all those beautiful things that you used to do when you were single and start doing those things again, you know. And if it's not, if that's not the case then, you know, create new things. But it definitely seems like you need to be putting a lot of effort and energy into yourself. I feel like, you know, the message here is to really align yourself um, up again. I see that there is an ex that is going to be coming back to you. There is somebody that is going to be rushing back towards you. This is somebody that is mad about the breakup. For some of you, this person could have caused the breakup on their own, but they are very mad about it now. Like This is like them regretting the fact that they left you. I feel like, oh, this could definitely be a marriage. Um, they don't like that you're doing good on your own. This person, this, is, this could be a marriage um, or a relationship that lasted a couple years and I feel like they don't like that you are doing well on your own well without them I feel like you know they're kind of going through a struggle they have a lot of healing to do they have a lot of you know work to do uh, regarding you know moving forward and being able to move on and it's really hard for them it's taking a lot of energy and effort out of them and you're just kind of manifesting a lot of beautiful things because maybe you did put the time into yourself or maybe that's what's going to be happening for you this week but I feel like this person is rushing back in towards you again because they don't like that they're not happy that you're happy without them they didn't you know they didn't see that coming it looks like this person is going to come towards you with some very you know a very they have a very head over heart energy. I mean, this is not really the way to try to win someone back, but I feel like they're just kind of a little bit like messed up right now because they're just so sad and hurt at the fact that you're moving on and you're happy without them. So that is making them really angry and aggressive. I feel like they're going to be very straight up with you about how they feel um, trying to get back with you. They're going to be very honest this time. I feel like this person may not have been so honest in the past, but I feel like they know right now that the only way to ever get you back is to really be completely honest and open with you. This is definitely a situation, if it's a past situation, it's something that has made you very happy. Or that once made you very happy. Others of you could be meeting a life partner um, after you do some soul searching and working on yourself. I feel like you guys are going to come into this situation. Like, I feel like you guys are going to really find your purpose. You guys are going to be aligning into a place where you can really find your purpose, find where you're meant to be. A lot of healing is going to be taking place, and because of that... Some of you guys may end up, you know, getting epiphanies on where, what to do. You know, some of you may be starting a business, but I do see that there's a lot of success around you. If this is you that is taking a lot of time to really heal from a relationship, I feel like, 
guys honestly I'm so sorry I know I talk so fast like I can't believe I said all that in five minutes but when the messages come to me I just say them because I feel like I don't want to like there could be like one little tiny message and like my goal with this channel is to get you guys to hear all the messages that you need to hear you know if only one person resonates and they really need to hear it then I've done my job you know I just want you guys to hear the messages that you need to hear and that's really what's important to me with making this channel is trying to help you guys in any way that I can so when I hear the messages I say them as fast as I can because I get messages like crazy too many so I have to say them really quickly otherwise I'm gonna forget one and I don't want to forget one because what if one person really needed to hear that you know so that is the reason why I speak so fast but um Okay. But yeah, I do see there is, yeah, there's a beautiful opportunity for you, a new opportunity for you for something stable. This could be you coming out of a relationship with the earth or fire, sorry, with the air or um, fire sign and moving into a new relationship that is going to be more stable with um, somebody that is more aligned with you. And this person could be an earth sign. I do feel like this person is very grounded. For some of you, this could be a Scorpio. This um, could also be a Virgo that you were dealing with in the past, or maybe you're going to be um, dealing with a Virgo soon. But I do see here that, you know, you have done the inner work that you needed, and there's going to be something great coming towards you. There's a lot of people that are going to be supporting you, a lot of people that are going to be looking up to you. There's a lot of praise that you are going to be getting. I see a lot of success regarding anything that you were putting in the effort towards. There's a lot of success here for you guys, so this is beautiful. I do see that there is a new opportunity for something stable, whether this is a relationship or a money opportunity. There's a lot of um, knowledge that you are going to have. It's almost like you're going to be starting fresh, but in a place where you are more aligned with who you truly are. And because of that, you're going to be realizing a lot of things and making a lot of beautiful changes around your life. I do see here that, you know, this person that is coming in, you're not really going to be focusing on them. You're really going to leave them in the cold because you're just really not interested you are really happy where you are, whether that is you being single or you meeting somebody new this week. Like, you are happy and you are stable. So you're just going to focus on that, focus on all the good in your life and not really worry about any of the bad things. It's like as soon as this person comes in, it's like you're not really even going to have to hear what they say. This could be somebody that you've forgiven a couple times in the past, but now it's like you really... You really realize, you really learn, so now you're moving forward in your life. This karmic um, connection from the past is over. It does look like, for a lot of you guys, if there is somebody that rushes back in who is, you know, wasn't as wasn't aligned with you if you realize that and you don't let them back in and you cut them off I do see that you could potentially meet your life partner really quickly after that because you stood your ground you stood up for what you deserve and you're putting out the energy that you deserve more you deserve um better than that and that brings you know better things into your life so this is beautiful I do see here that the stable offer with this person who could definitely be an earth sign is going to lead to something really exciting this could be somebody that you've been with for a long time and you know for some of you you may have a partner that you've been with for a long time and their ex won't like let, let go maybe this person has children with this person but i feel like their ex just kind of comes in like occasionally trying to ruin things and they just cut them off cut them off cut them off you know it hasn't really affected your relationship but it's still just annoying to you but i do see here that if you've been with somebody for a long time there is potential for you guys to move in together i see here there could be an engagement a celebration some of you may be having a child or a baby shower here I do see that there's something regarding money, something that is going to be a big, um, a big thing for you guys. And it has a lot to do with money. And it's like, you guys are going to have to figure out what to do with your money or how you can, you know, put money aside to afford a new house or to afford an, a wedding. It's like you're, you may have two things, like you may be pregnant and you want to get married or you may be pregnant and you want to get a new house. So you're really trying to balance out your money. Um, and figure out like some of you the situation may be where you don't have enough money to really choose both so you're trying to figure out which one to do others of you are just financially planning and making budgets and stuff so that you guys are smart about both and even though you can't afford it you're just being smart about it and um really making laying out the plans and the foundation but i do see here that this is a connection that is going to last a long time with the ten of cups here i feel like there's a lot of potential for this to you know last a very long time i see here that there are children and there are there is marriage there is a house here so all of those things could definitely be coming and i feel like it's all because you did the work um 
you did the work on your own. Yeah, the wheel is at the bottom of the deck. So, you know, things are definitely turning around for your favor. And um, it's like you're going to be very successful financially and there's going to be a lot of people appraising you. You may be rising in power. But it also looks like love is going to be really good. A beautiful love is going to be coming in for you. So it's like if you are going through hard times, don't worry. Think positively because things are going to be picking up a lot quicker if you just, you know, do your healing and focus on yourself. Things are going to be picking up a lot quicker than if you were to really just be focusing on the negative and the fact that things aren't going so well, maybe, if that is your situation. You know, always think positive no matter what's going on. I know it's hard. Especially like for me, I, I'm a, like a Scorpio. So like it's really it was really hard at one point for me to think negative or for me to think positive in a negative situation. But now it's like no matter how shitty things get, I'm always the most positive person and it makes it a lot better. And when you do that, you get like rewarded for that. It's like the bad never really seems as bad afterwards after like a, you get used to doing that everything just kind of is like you know what it's meant to be you know what it's meant to be it's not meant to be it's meant to be it's not meant to be and that is a way better way of living than you know being stuck in negative energy and being held back because you're in a negative mindset so that is what i have for you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this reading if you guys would um like a personal reading that is focused on only your energy my information is down below i hope you guys have a wonderful week bye my loves